This is our food bank behind. We've been coming here for a year and a half now with a food bank for pensioners. It's quite successful. We've got immense support here and we're hoping that that support we get is going to help us in the local council elections where we'll be standing in numerous wards in the area. The food bank is predominantly for pensioners. As you can see, we also have a, a cooker where we make tea and coffee for people, which is very popular. We normally have somewhere around 10 activists every time we come into this area. This is Mickey walking behind, he's the organiser. We normally have somewhere in the region of 10 activists, sometimes more, sometimes less. But we've been here, wind, rain and snow. And I think the people are beginning to appreciate the party for what we're doing in this community. We're the only party that are out on the streets with a food bank. You won't see the Tories, you won't see Labour, you won't see the Liberals. The only time you see those parties is when they want people's votes. And people appreciate that we're here, all, we've been here all year round. We're here all year round. They know we're going to be here. They know more or less what days we're going to be here. And we get so much support, it's unbelievable. We're just hoping that that support can transpire into votes come the election. As you can see, we get people coming up for tea and coffee and they take food. They come up and have a chat, they take leaflets. And some people who have never heard of us two years ago certainly know of us now. During the by-election last year in this ward, we campaigned against this war memorial. Now, this was a conservative idea to plant this here as a war memorial. It, as you can see, it's a boulder. It's a piece of hardcore. Now, this is supposed to represent the dead of two world wars. We think it's an absolute disgrace. It was put here by the Tories to be politically correct. Basically, what it is, is they didn't want to put a religious symbol here, like a cross, in case they offended ethnic minorities. And in our, our campaign last year, in the local council by-election, we said it should be replaced with a fitting war memorial. I mean, be fair, just look at this thing. It is, this, is, this is a war memorial dedicated to the dead of two world wars and to soldiers that are dying today in foreign wars. To our way of thinking, well, we're gobsmacked, really, that it, it was ever put there in the first place. We're not politically correct. We say what we mean and mean what we say. We say what do you think? We know what most people are thinking. But we think out loud.